Hi guys. The glider is still in the air for more five hours now. We have passed a critical point when the battery voltage drops to 11.5. at 10 o'clock and now we are charging the battery you can see the sun is a little cloudy this is not the optimal situation but it's still flying i think the focus is not well adjust We learned some things uh, during this flight. When the critical point arrived, we find some solution to limit the current draining. So we made a little summary. You can see we launched the plane at six, uh, around six o'clock, seven o'clock. The battery valve was uh, full charge and we started drain, draining the battery there was no sun and it was cloudy at 10 o'clock this was the critical point the battery was uh, low 11.8 volt and now at uh, 12 and 10 minutes we are at around 40 volts so that represents the flight time of five hours around uh, 150 kilometers and uh, what we found to cope with uh, the motor draining too much current when the battery is uh, at a critical voltage I uh, switch the max throttle parameters to 60%. That results in a loss of altitude sometimes, but it prevents uh, uh, too much high uh, voltage drop, drop on the battery. And this parameter is uh, important too. This, it can uh, smooth the throttle value. So usually we it set to 30 and uh, we decreased it to 15 but it was a little problem when the FS value is too low the motor controller sometimes is locked and it uh, drain the battery at 6 amps but the propeller is not spinning maybe it's a problem of timing or I don't know but uh, when it happens, you see the plane altitude uh, uh, decrease and the current is still at 6 amps. So now we hope these clouds will disappear. And when the sky is uh, clear, we have 8 amps provided by the solar here is a ground station today my car is wrecked so uh, we make this ground station 100 watts solar panel and maybe I will make some aerial shots with these little guys this is the Mintalon by XUAV with an IPM on board and maybe we will try the swarm function of Mission Planner. Here you can see, maybe, I don't know, it's around 6 amps of, uh, from the cells 
to ourselves and we draw too much current from the motor at this time. The air is bad, there are some wind, winds. So, it's not the perfect day, it's not the perfect day. It is very cloudy and very windy with uh, quite strong guts, about 7 meters per second. Um, it is not good as expected. The glider flies very well. So we wait, maybe in one hour or two hours we will have no more clouds and no more wind, we don't know. So we wait. Uh, at this moment we should be full charge, it's not full charge, so we just wait for more sun. Um, always keeping an eye on the glider with the gusts for looking eventually for a crash we don't want. Um, it is now nearly five hours and a half of flight, so it's quite good. Last year we flight seven hours, so I think we are going to break our last year record. Just wait and see. The sun is coming, the sun is coming back. Just wait, maybe we are going to charge about eight amps. Just wait. Je vais parler un peu en français maintenant. Donc on a commencé ce matin tôt à 6h55. On était plein chargé, ils annonçaient soleil, on n'a pas eu de soleil du tout, on a eu que des nuages, donc la batterie euh, s'est complètement vidée jusqu'à 10h du matin. On a commencé enfin à recharger, on était vraiment pas loin de poser. Et on est reparti là, donc euh, ça recharge un peu, on a eu euh, un grand coup de soleil, ça a permis de remonter les batteries jusqu'à 11h. À partir de 11h, le vent s'est levé, s'est levé très fort même. Alors un vent d'autant pour ceux qui connaissent, ça. donc un bon vent de sud-est avec des rafales et des turbulences. Là, c'est de se calmer un peu. On a quelques thermiques qui passent, qui sont un peu près stables. On voit quand même bien le, les ailes trembler sur le modèle. Euh, donc, il bouge pas mal, ça brasse pas mal. Il fait quelques bons, euh, il perd 10 mètres, il reprend 20 mètres. Voilà, c'est un, euh, un peu turbulent. Si le soleil se maintient, d'ici 2-3 heures, on devrait être complètement chargé. Et si on consomme euh, ce qu'on devrait consommer, à savoir que depuis ce matin, on consomme le double de d'habitude. Voilà. Normalement, on consomme 2, 3, 4 ampères. Et là, on est plutôt à 5, 6, 7, 8 ampères. Donc c'est vraiment pas bon. Malgré ça, le modèle arrive à voler et ça se passe plutôt bien. Voilà pour les news. En espérant que ce soir, vers 20h, on soit encore là. Mais avec la météo, c'est pas encore gagné. Je vais calmer là. Mieux. I think right, right now we have better performance. Yes, we have close to 9 amps of current from the solar cells and the motor draw around 4 amps. Sometimes less. Yes, it's very good. 8 amps is far more than we need to fly. Maybe one day I will make a video on this box. Inside there is an MPPT. And I have all uh, stuff I need to charge with my phone, LiPo charger, and uh, everything, and the music too. And today we are testing the fresh new Lions battery from a German uh, website we bought from. And maybe we will uh, tol talk about this later. So stay tuned, we will make another YouTube Live at around uh, 4 o'clock. 
Good afternoon. See you later.